finally time to put coilovers on the S3. Now, with the Mark 7, we went with BCs, got them on Black Friday, which we also got these on Black Friday, like three, not three, I think six years ago, actually. I'll put up the picture here of little Jay-Z boy next to, ooh, coilover, sorry, excuse me. I just got done eating some nice leftovers. Speaking of, I hope you guys had a great holiday. I don't know what you guys celebrate, but we celebrate Christmas around here, and we had a phenomenal Christmas. So I don't know what's in this first box. We know there's coilovers, but we have this first box. And, uh, oh, wow, okay. Just uh, some springs. I was wondering. So we did, obviously, get the uh, Swift spring upgrade. So we will open this up real quick. And we got two Swift springs here. They don't say anything except for Swift 100 on them. It's in here. Part number, lot number, doesn't say. What spring rate they are. Oh, this is 80. So I'm guessing 8K, which is what I got for the rear. And then those ones said 100, so 10K. Nice. All right, so we got our springs. And I'm assuming that, well, obviously, by this, we're going to have to put these on the cool over. So, now that that's out of the way. Sorry, guys, I'm using my watch. I've never used the feature on the iWatch. You can, like, see what's on your camera. And I think I just zoomed it. Oh, oh, I'm zooming it. I just realized that, uh, there we go. I didn't know that the scroll reel was what the zoom was. I was wondering how I zoomed it earlier, but I so apologize. <laughs> Ooh, that's a first. It's, uh, whoa. All right. You know how uh, EQT loves their green. Probably gonna be a lot of questions. Like, why did you go with EQT? And, you know, there's all these other cool little brands out there. And to be fair, I love my BCs. I was actually going to get BCs again, um, but I'm sponsored by EQT, and I was, I think the first, the first MQB guy to be sponsored by EQT, and I've been sponsored from them, by them for a while, so I figured, why not go ahead and use my discount while uh, Black Friday is going on, and uh, give me some nice coilovers. With, we got adjustable top hats, uh, camera place rather, and then springs. So came with a couple tools, your coilover tools, a couple uh, of Allen keys. Wow, let me just grab the camera here and show you what we're working with. Nice, working real fine. So let's just pull these bad boys out and out. Oh, nice. So this right here is mainly this uniball set up here and it's so stiff I can't do it with my hand but you should be able to like rotate this kind of independent of this and with the, the style that's on the car right now if your shock is angled then like these the top has to be angled with it. And I think that's causing like some binding issues that my spring on the car right now, my racing line springs, they're not tight. Like if I were to take it off right now, the spring would just rattle in there. Like the spring isn't always touching the top, which is annoying. Every time I jack the car up, the spring falls and then a little like rubber isolator here falls. And then like, it's just not ideal. And I think the shocks are probably on their way out just cause I've been, beating the crap out of them for 35 something thousand miles now. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be legit. Now we will have to, ooh, listen to that. Don't look at my ugly nails. We got all this adjustment, front and rear. Oh my goodness, it goes forever. Nice. Well, this isn't gonna fit under. I hope these pop off. Maybe there's a little, oh yeah, there's a little Allen key there. So those won't stay installed. This is actually quite a bit different than my BCs. Nice. So this is gonna be really sick. Super stoked. That was kind of sketchy. <laughs> so we'll have to disassemble these and get the new springs on them, set the preload on them, 
which should be fairly simple. Let's pull out one of the rears. With these, I really wanted to order new shock mounts. 034 makes aftermarket shock mounts. Um, I gotta figure out the height for these as well, because this is adjustable, which I've never messed with before. My VCs, I never even touched that. So, you like this, and then you have your, oh, okay, that's nice. You adjust it down here. Just kind of lay up under the back of the car and you'll be able to adjust your, your settings there. I think I'm gonna order like a uh, Sean over, it's not stock. Shout out to Sean, check out the shirt. This thing is nice. I got me and the old lady one for Christmas. Just put them on. Very nice quality. Um, what was I saying? Oh, they make like these, essentially they're just condoms for the springs and stuff to protect the threads and all this from getting all corroded. Sean sells them. I don't know what they're actually called. Cool over covers or something, but I think I'm going to get some of those too, just to keep these nice and shiny. If we ever got to adjust them in a year or so or something, you know, your threads aren't all corroded and it makes it, I think it'd be worth it. I really do. But yeah, let's, uh, I guess pour, pull all these out. All right, so we're just pulling these bad boys apart real quick. Figured might as well line up. We'll swap these springs out. We already swapped out the rears there to see how everything's gonna look. And it's so nice when things are brand new. I think the, the preload, the amount of preload you use is the thickness of one of the, the tools so I'll kind of show that I have to go on the interwebs and verify that but I'm pretty sure and this one on the bottom swappy swap let's get her back on oh yeah wait oh, she goes right there. where the heck on she goes wanted to show you guys the difference between the springs before I took this one completely off. This one does seem a little bit wider. You can see how many uh, less turns it seems to have. Pretty neat. Everyone says the Swift upgrade is worth it. I've never tried it without the Swift, so I wouldn't know. But uh, yeah, looks dope. It's really dope. Nice and shiny. Love it. Well, guys, the pullovers are about as ready as they're going to get. Just need to adjust preload, go through and make sure everything's tight, and then look up exactly where uh, we're going to want this shock height to be. I don't know if we measure it off the old stuff, or we got to do some measurements with lifting the wheel up uh, without, the, without the spring. Some, some Measurements you gotta do, you take the spring off. I think that's for bump stop. You take the spring off and then raise the wheel on the strut um, to see where it goes and mark things and measure and adjust accordingly. I really don't know. Um, we clearly don't have bump stop adjustment on this, so we'll just have to go with the flow. Um, yeah, I'm just super excited. I remember when I got coolovers on my golf R and it made the biggest difference. Um, on those, I kept the, the stock, what are they called, uh, end links on them. They were causing too much preload on the sway bar. So once I got adjustable links, which I already have now, I'm still running those same ones, made things a lot better. Um, but I think I need a front sway bar to really finish off the whole deal. Once we put these in, everything in the suspension has been changed. Everything besides the front sway bar and those sway bar bushings. So I think we'll go ahead and order a 034 Swanson front sway bar to do in the next couple of weeks just to complete everything and the way the car turns in now which might be fixed because I think that my spring rates are just too low and the way that the DCC does the struts it's just it's either too stiff or not stiff enough so I'll be able to go in and change these on my own and be able to write numbers down and, and uh, compare those settings to how the car reacts and take notes a bunch of stuff I did with my golf R to finally like dial it in and know when to tighten or loosen the suspension up some, depending on how tight or wet 
or sticky the course is. Um, there's a lot, a lot that goes into this. It's kind of a lot to even think about to even start to explain, but my main, main reason to, to you know, go to these cool loopers is to have more control. Right now, the car sits at, at a front rake. The front is significantly lower than the rear. Um, I'd like to take this some camber out, but I can't because of the ride height. So now we got that adjustability. We have, you know, all these settings we'll be able to adjust on my end and take my notes from. And uh, what else? It, it, well, with another thing with the DCC, when I had it in dynamic, so like race mode, the trans acted better in that mode with sport on than what it did in say, I'd go to my custom mode where I'd have the suspension a little bit softer, but everything else on stiff, but it's still, the transmission wouldn't, the transmission dynamic, like the way the computer is telling it to act in sport mode or whatever, is still different. So I'll still be able to keep the car in dynamic mode now where everything acts properly, but have the, you know, dampening adjustment that I, that I want. Um, so that would be really cool. And they get, and also, you know, having the height adjustment, we'll be able to quarter balance the car. We'll be able to, like I said, raise it up so we're not rubbing. Um, because we're going to take some camber out. And that's a whole nother thing. Like I was saying earlier with all my vertical line suspension, I have most of my camber coming out from the bottom, which puts a lot of stress on, you know, that this and, and the top pads that I have right now, like I said, they're not like this, where you can, God, they're so, I just moved them a second ago. There we go. See how it moved? Like these move, you know, based on the suspension. So the, there's no like extra stress from this moving, you know, while being cambered. Um, and I think that'll help a lot with the car especially the way that it's set up. So I'll be able to take a lot of the camera out from the bottom, add a little bit in from the top, rather, so it's not even pushing my wheels out. My wheels kind of stick out now since we're doing a little camera from the bottom. This is just gonna eliminate a lot of things that's been bugging me. I did all this work line stuff and I've been kind of, um, been held back on their performance, their set up ability, because I don't have pullovers. So now if these pullovers are gonna be on, Everything else should really fall into place and the car should handle like a god dang beast. <laughs> and I'm super excited. Like, I remember how just, people ask me a lot how the S3 compares to the Golf and the Golf was, I weighed a lot less and it was a lot more nimble. And it was more nimble because it weighed less, but also because the suspension was dialed in perfectly. And this right here is pretty much the only thing we're missing. We'll throw in a front sway bar on that thing too. And it's gonna, it's gonna change the game. Like we're, we're going to go to autocross this year, hopefully just a couple of events to dial everything in, get my numbers down to know what I want when I want it, and uh, go out there and kill it. But we are, we are going to put the car on the drag alignment at first to try and get into the 10s. We're going to get this 10 second pass on these pullovers. Um, now that we can take the camber out and the extra, um, the toe out. Um, you know, we're, we're riding around with negative 3.7 degrees up front right now. We're going to take all that out. And uh, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a way different car on the highway. Because right now, like, the grooves in the highway kind of pull me because of my toe and my camber and, and all that. So, anyway. Shout out to EQT. These things are dope. They are super duper nice. It's going to be a long weekend next weekend setting all this stuff up. Hopefully, the Asian Garage, we just teamed up with them for their DCC deletes. Hopefully, they're here by next week. If not... We'll ride around without them. Just realized I accidentally zoomed in on my face from my watch. First time using that feature. I apologize. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll catch you on the full front. Are they coilovers? Yeah. They go on daddy's car. Can you say car? Say car. 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 Say Audi. Howdy. You worried about the robot? Robot's cleaning. All done. Oh, maybe not. What do you think? Is mommy home? Mama. Mama.